blue again. Just figured I would show a video here of my 1951 Formal H running finally. Running correctly. Well, for the most part. Had a lot of carburetor issues with it. It does need some work yet. I mean, it, it don't sound awful. But it's not great. Still got a miss. got a miss and since I just took it for a ride I just noticed the engine head has a, a leak here on the side it's leaking a little bit of I believe it's a little oil right there this thing probably didn't run for the last 30 years so that don't really surprise me it's leaking I think I got a couple leaky valves as well the thing seems like it has a slight miss to it but that's to be expected. This thing's been around the block here a few times. The one immaculate thing though is that dang front grill. Not a bend on it. Everything's there. And the front, the wide front on it, ain't all boogered up from running into fence posts or whatnot. All these bars right here are nice and straight nice looking overall now here's something you uh farm all h owners with the uh uh narrow front setup here actually is in a second here's actually where your holster would fit on a narrow front see it right there little hole there it actually run a shaft down through and that there is where your uh, front bolster and an air front would be. On a wide front now, it sits back farther. Yeah, the bolsters, after the setup's a little bit, it's been removed backwards a little bit. Yeah, this thing's a little rough, but I'm going to take it to my buddy's house here probably later this year, maybe pull the head off, put a new head gasket on it, see if I can get them valves reground on it, and I'll get it running a little better. I made a little battery set up for it, a little battery holder, so they didn't have to strap it everywhere I went. Um, one of the neat things on this, it's a shame, is that... I was told the old owner who had it was going to restore it, but he passed away before he could, and apparently the kids didn't want nothing to do with it, so it sat outside for the last 30 years, which was a real shame, because the old owner actually had new tires on it at the time, new rear tires. And they're not obviously new anymore, look at all the dry rot, quite a bit, all that sun, sun mostly, moisture not easy on them but they're a lot better than a lot of the other back tires and some of my other junk rims aren't rotted up not rotted up at all this one here has got it we can turn and there's a red light in there as well as a clear one um, right now I just have the battery hooked directly to the coil I'm converting it over the coil has a resistor inbuilt on it so I don't burn out the points It's a work in progress, but it'll be nice when it's done. You can tell how long this thing's sat. It's your flat belt pool or what's left of it. I kicked it on earlier and the thing started throwing chunks everywhere. I've never seen one that bad. Ooh. Yeah, nice and zesty. So. A little bit of work. Uh, I get the head off here sometime. I'll try to get another video of that show it's all going to be deep going over. I guarantee this thing's going to be fixed up a little bit. I don't scrap anything if I can help it. This thing here was not exactly great when I got it, but I'm going to make sure it's one of them that are saved. Now, if I keep it or not, uh, I imagine I probably will. I've been wanting a farm all tractor with a wide front for some time. 
I mean, this thing's pretty much a run-of-the-mill H, but the wide front, that's probably worth about as much as the whole tractor or darn close to it. But now they all stay together. But for now, you guys, hey, have a good one.